Hi guys, welcome to the RPB Resonance Chemistry. Now we are discussing about uh, Canizaro reactions in carbonyl compounds. Canizaro reactions. So, this Canizaro named reactions, uh, which is very helpful for the basic learners of CSR and GATE aspirants, as well as uh, IIT JE and NEET aspirants. IIT JE and uh, NEET aspirants. So, which is very uh, important one and very easier one. Okay. So, now before going to the reaction, now what we need for the dealing with this reaction, okay, for dealing with this reaction, those are called conditions and requirements. Conditions and requirements. Okay, now the conditions and requirements. The first condition is so the reaction the, the, the reaction occurred uh, in between the aldehydes. Again, it having the special aldehydes. Those are special aldehydes without having the alpha hydrogen. So now the reaction uh, proceeds under the without alpha hydrogen aldehydes. So the first thing is without alpha hydrogen aldehydes. Now, so whenever without alpha hydrogen aldehydes, that means uh, it is aldehyde. Okay. Now again, uh, one of the position is alkyl group. At least one of the position it requires uh, hydrogen. One of the position it requires uh, hydrogen. If both are hydrogen, doesn't matter. It is also aldehyde. So this is nothing but formaldehyde. So which is also used in the uh, Canizaro reaction. Now here, whenever it having the R group, that means uh, here it is methyl. So carbonyl adjacent position is called alpha. Alpha carbon doesn't having the hydrogen. That means here three hydrogens are there. It is not used in the Canizaro reaction. If if I alpha hydrogens are present, then it is called aldol condensation, not the Canizaro reaction. Now here, which is used for the like here trialkyl substrate, there is no hydrogen. That means here it is useful. Again, aromatic aldehydes. So here carbonyl compound. So benzene means benzene having the four bonds. Now here there is no hydrogen. Four are carbon carbon bonding are present over the alpha position of carbonyl compound. Again aromatic another benzene it is uh, like a uh, thiophene or furan aldehydes. Thiophene or furan aldehydes. So aromatic aldehydes readily gives the Canizaro reaction. Note that point when compared to uh, aliphatic uh, aromatic aldehydes readily gives the Canizaro reaction. Now this is the first condition. Now the second condition is it requires a strong basis. It requires a strong basis. But in case of aldol condensation, we require that the very diluted basis like NaOH and KOH, which is dissolved into the water, then it is used. Okay, but here there is no dissolving in water. Okay, so now we use a strong basis that means like a pure KOH and NaOH. There is no a diluted there is no diluted now we use KOH and NaOH in the form of strong okay these two conditions which requires to proceed the Canizaro reaction now we have to go, go through the uh, reaction of Canizaro now the reaction so again before going to the reaction now we have to discuss the, some basic points of uh, organic chemistry now here okay so it is alcohol it is nothing but alcohol so alcohol having the carbon that carbon which is attached to the only one carbon then it is called primary alcohol okay if this oxygen attached to the carbon attached to the two alkyl groups then it is secondary so three then it is a tertiary alcohol now here it is a primary alcohol so whenever primary alcohol it gets oxidized that means oxidation means either addition of oxygens or removal of hydrogens now here two hydrogens will be removed then it forms the aldehyde. Okay, then it forms the aldehyde. Okay, again, further oxidation on the aldehyde. Here, there is no elimination of hydrogens. There, there is no two hydrogen. That's why the addition of uh, oxygen, it is called oxidation process. Okay, so from left to right, it is oxidation. Here to here, it is also oxidation. Whenever the reversal of process, so acid to alda, uh, uh, the acid to aldehyde is reduction. Aldehyde to alcohol is reduction. Okay, now here, alcohol to carbonyl oxidation. Carbonyl to uh, acid is uh, oxidation. Again, acid to ald aldehyde is reduction. Aldehyde to alcohol is reduction. Now, these points very helpful after the reaction. Okay, now we discuss, the, now we go through the reaction of Canizaro. So, now here, so this is the formaldehyde. This is the formaldehyde. Now, we, we take the two moles of formaldehyde. Okay, two moles of formaldehyde. These two formaldehydes having the without alpha hydrogen. 
okay so now these two are without alpha hydrogen for aldehydes so now in case of strong bases in case of strong bases so I mentioned this very strong basis why it is used why it is needed for this strong basis I will explain the in mechanism okay now here one of the aldehyde will becomes like a salt of acid salt of acid okay now another aldehyde will becomes alcohol another acid will become alcohol okay now here so now we have to discuss about uh, this oxidation and reduction process. Now here it is aldehyde. So aldehyde to all yeah, carboxylic acid, then it is called oxidation process. Is it right or wrong? Okay, now we have discussed in previously. Okay, so aldehyde to acid is nothing but uh, oxidation process. Okay, what about uh, aldehyde to alcohol? Aldehyde to alcohol is called reduction process. Okay. Aldehyde to alcohol is called reduction process. Okay. Now in this case, so two moles of without alpha hydrogen containing carbonyl compounds, that is especially aldehydes, will react with a strong basis. Then it gives one equivalent of uh, acid derivatives like salt of acids, another equivalent of alcohols. Okay. Now here in this reaction, in this single reaction, it both oxidation and reduction takes place. In a single reaction, both oxidation and sing reduction takes place. Then it is called redox reactions what is called the redox reactions so canizaro is an example of uh, redox reactions again it is also known as self oxidation and self reduction reaction self oxidation and self reduction reactions which is very helpful for the like uh, further basics now Okay, so this is the Canizaro reaction. Now we will define the Canizaro reaction. So two moles of uh, without alpha hydrogen containing aldehydes will treat it with strong bases. It, it produces uh, one mole of salt of acid and another mole of alcohol. In this reaction, oxidation as well as reduction takes place. That's why it is called as redox reaction. So the Canizaro reaction, so here it undergoes the self oxidation and self reduction reaction self oxidation and self reduction reaction this is called canizaro reaction this is called canizaro reaction whenever so here two are uh, same types of can canizaro then it is called uh, general general canizaro reaction now whenever here one is the formaldehyde another one is the aromatic aldehyde that means uh, two aldehydes are different then it is called crossed canizaro reaction crossed canizaro reaction whenever two different aldehydes are there so in these cases it in case of two different aldehydes so the uh, the more reactive aldehyde gets uh, ox, uh, oxidized the more reactive aldehyde gets oxidized second one is uh, reduced so now here so i'll give the like acidic properties of uh, aldehydes so formaldehyde then aromatic aldehyde then aliphatic aldehyde so this is the order okay now here aldehydes readily gets the oxidized then uh, remaining aldehydes which are aromatic aldehydes so now we will get the alcohol so this type of reactions are called the crossed canizaro reactions crossed canizaro reactions now i'll give the one or two examples then after go through the mechanism okay now i'll give the one or two examples uh, after the mechanism after the mechanism now here mechanism mechanism is nothing but uh, the reaction pathway reaction pathway how they are produced uh, like one mole of acid and another mole of uh, aldehyde now we, we would like to take the aldehyde one mole of uh, aldehyde so now here we used the strong base okay now we used the strong base this so strong base will readily attack over the electrophilic center. Now we know that we are already discussed in our previous lectures. So carbonyl compound is electrophilic center. Ca uh, carbonyl oxygen is a nucleophilic center. Now our OH- minus will attack over the electrophilic center. Then carbon having the more than its valency. That's why one of the uh, weak bonds uh, will shift towards the more electronegativity atom side. Then it shown the negative character. So now it forms the HCO- H- OH H 
OH. Why you use the uh, next next step? Why you use the strong bases? Now here, so oxygen having the negative charge, it is more electronegative. That uh, that's why it 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 is not possible to uh, maintain the this electronegativity atom on oxygen. That's why it readily returns back. It readily returns back again. So it readily react with another mole of aldehyde. So here two possibilities are there. Here two possibilities are there. So this negative charge directly can attack over the electrophilic center or this negative charge can return to the uh, same carbon atom and one, one of these atoms will eliminate it like a nucleophile, like a nucleophile, okay? So now these two possibilities. Well, uh, first case, now it oxyanion will attack over the carbonyl compound, then it forms the like a ether compound, ether, okay. So these ethers are unstable, okay. This or the year OH, year OH, these are the unstable. Whenever it undergoes the ketone altatomerism, then it is a readily lost the character, it having the unstable character. So due to the unstability of uh, these step, this is not occurred, this is not occurred. That's why now this oxyanion will return back to the carbonyl compound carbonyl compound now here carbon having the four valency without a return back now whenever it return backs to the carbon now it having the more than its valency that's why one of the atom it is readily eliminated it, it, it should be eliminated okay so those atom is nothing but now we are adding to the concentrated OH that means concentrated base so that concentrated base means so whenever it returns back then it cannot remove, it cannot remove. Why? Because now we are adding to the concentrated base. That concentrated base readily attack over the electrophilic center. That's why there is no possibility of elimination of same OH minus, same OH minus. That's why, so it eliminates uh, the other part of uh, hydrogen as hydride ion, as hydride ion. Listen carefully, I will repeat my sentence again. Now here, the oxyanion will return same to the carbonyl compound. Okay, now here carbon does not uh, uh, maintain the more than its valency. That's why one, one, one group is eliminated. It should be eliminated. Okay, now that group, uh, whenever, uh, let us assume if OH- minus will be eliminated. It cannot be possible. Why? Because we are adding to the concentrated base. That's why it is a strong attraction between the carbon and oxygen. That's why, so it cannot eliminate it. So remaining one is a hydride, it eliminated as hydride minus, it eliminated as hydride minus. This hydride minus will go through the carbonyl compound, then it forms the, <coughs> then it attacks the nucleophilic addition. Okay, now what will happen? Here, H, here it forms the double bond, then it is OH, then it is OH plus HCH, here the third hydrogen is there, here O minus. Okay, whenever it having the minus charge on more electronegativity atom, our salt, like uh, now we used the NaOH, so that salt will present over the oxyanion, oxyanion. Now here, it is a more acidic one, it is less acidic one. More acidic means it readily lost their proton. More acidic means it is readily lost their proton. Whenever compared to alcohols, acids are more acidic. That's why it readily lost their proton. That means uh, here, interchange of proton or intertransfer of protons between the acid and alcohol takes place. Now here O minus will obstruct the proton then bonded two electrons will shift towards the oxyanion that oxyanion will attack the Na plus then it forms the HC double bond O O N A plus H H H O H Okay, now here salt of acid as well as alcohol. Salt of acid as well as alcohol. So now in case of aldehyde, it is a reduction process. Now in case of aldehyde to acids, it is oxidation process. Okay, this is the very clear cut mechanism in Canizaro reaction. In Canizaro reaction. So now one, one, one exception is there. So this is the aldehyde. Whenever OH- is added to the a carbonyl compound then it forms the O minus OH O minus. Now we used a very strong base vigorously we used the strong base content is more and more then another proton obstruction takes place from that one now it forms the dioxyanion dioxyanion it is also possible for the mechanism so it is exception it is for the only CSR and gate aspirants CSR and gate aspirants now 
So I repeated the total mechanism. Now here it is carbonyl compound without alpha hydrogen carbonyl compound. Whenever OH minus will attack the carbonyl compound, it becomes O minus. That O minus cannot attack the direct carbonyl compound due to uh, its formation of uh, unstable species. Now uh, again it returns sent back to the carbonyl carbon atom. So here there is no possibility to elimination of OH minus. That's why uh, your hydride minus uh, eliminated as a nucleophile. That nucleophile will attack over the nucleophilic addition on the another carbonyl compound. So then it forms the O minus. It is uh, alkoxide ion as well as carboxylic acid. So more acidic protons readily lose their protons. So that's why here alkoxide ion obstruct the proton then it forms the salt of acid. So this, this total reaction is called Canizaro, Canizaro reaction. Now I'll give the some of the examples. Some some of the examples for Canizaro reaction. For Canizaro reaction, very useful. So the first one is so they are given in only one mole. We are assumed it is two mole. They are they doesn't give in the two moles of formaldehyde. Okay. So in competitive exam, they doesn't give the two moles of formaldehyde. So we are assumed it is two moles. Here it forms the salt of like here potassium is used, potassium salt, then methanol. Then it forms the methanol. Now the second example is benzaldehyde. So benzaldehyde in presence of KOH, here it forms the benzoic acid salt, salt of benzoic acid, then it forms the benzoic alcohol. Now the third one is like a thiophen or a furan aldehydes. So in presence of NaOH, it, it gives a furoic acid. It means furoic acid. So the salt of furoic acid as well as furyl alcohol. As well as furyl alcohol. Okay, now in case of crossed Canizaro reactions, Now, the most oxidizable, the most effective nucleophilic addition groups, okay. Now, here it, it is readily undergoes the uh, nucleophilic addition reactions towards the nucleophile, okay. That's why it is readily gets oxidized, then other one gets uh, uh, reduced. Now, in case of uh, CHO, CH3 taking twice a CHO. That means here without alpha hydrogen, that is a trimethyl like a aldehyde. Trimethyl aldehyde here, benzaldehyde will get the oxidation. The another one is it gets the reduction, then it gets the reduction. See CH2OH. See CH2OH. These are the examples for Canizaro reaction. Okay, now thank you for watching.